It is an ongoing issue nationwide, and the teacher shortage is impacting early start and head start programs in Nashville. The Metro Action Commission had, Commission had to delay the start of some programs simply because there weren't enough teachers to go around. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs tells us the plans in place to hire more than 40 teachers. At the end of the day, you have an imprint on someone's life for the rest of their life. It's never a dull moment for the students at Tom Joy Head Start Center. I love my age that I teach because it's the beginning. So I'm setting a foundation that is going to last them kindergarten, first grade, all the way up until they graduate and become professionals. Hobbs is one of the teachers there. She's also responsible for training new teachers. I would definitely say that we are a place of refuge. We are a place of safety. We are a place of loving, nurturing, and caring. Hobbs wishes she was training more teachers, but there are simply not enough. The Metro Action Commission's Head Start and Early Head Start program hasn't been able to accept new kids into the program because they don't have enough teachers. Teaching staff, I would say we're down about uh, 40, about 42, 43 teaching staff. Interim Director of Early Education and Youth, Donald Parham, says more than 340 kids are on a waiting list to be placed in the program. And we have parents that are constantly calling when. When is this going to happen? When can my child come? John, little Johnny wants to come to school. So our goal is to meet those needs as soon as possible because we want those kids in school as well. Before, the job required a bachelor's degree. Now they're requiring an associate's degree. Where are you going, Eddie? The Metro Action Commission is also partnering with Nashville State and creating a teacher readiness program. The social degree, a CDA, and I would say a love for children and a love for families. Um, it's hard work, H-A-R-T, not hard work, it's hard work, so you have to have a heart for it too as well. The teachers here say they agree. I want to make sure that I'm pointing to them the right things so that I can reap the benefit in the end. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. If you are interested in applying for a teaching position, there is a job fair this Saturday at Edmondson Chapel Church. It is from 10 until 2.